Start with what you already have. Start with what you have. You heard me. <laughs> Start with what you have. Well, pretty bossy, aren't I? Hey, you. Well, if you're thinking about the nomad life and you're just getting started getting um, organized, <clears throat> I want you to look around and see what you already have. That's what I did, and that's what a lot of nomads do, van dwellers. We start with what we have, so that we're not out just spending money willy-nilly and then having to get rid of stuff that we don't really need. So you can get started. And the first thing I wanna talk about <clears throat> is a carpet. I have a carpet under here. It's kinda of long, so I, I pushed it up there. It's an eight by five. And I bought this in Cincinnati. I was already a nomad, but you know what? Every time I go to my daughter's um, office, I look down and there's a really nice tapestry rug that I gave her. <laughs> I didn't know that I was gonna need a carpet. I had no clue when I left and I got rid of everything. Um, it was a really nice uh, tapestry rug um, is from Afghan and Afghanistan. And uh, wow, you know, but I'm glad it looks great in her office and I'm really glad it's there. But I could have used that. It was a seven by five. So it would have been perfect. It would have been fine. So <clears throat> look around if you have a throw rug. Usually if you're gonna do a minivan, usually a five by eight is gonna work just great. So look around and you can you can take a lid, you can take notes if you want to. Another thing too, I got my list right here. Another thing too, of course, is your bedding. You know, of course, you know, that's kind of like, um, I mean, that's sort of obvious. You wanna have enough pillows. I have, well, I was always a pillow person, you know. I like pillows, I like them for my knees at night. I like to have lots of pillows. So I already have pillows, but I've been um, a nomad for seven years, so I have thus um, replaced them. I have two here, one of them's up there because it's kind of pushy up here. And I use these for, um, you know, to lean against. And then I have two pillows up here for my head and I use one for my arm. Yeah, I like to be, I like to have be cushioned. Um, as we get older, <clears throat> You know, we need to have things, I like to be symmetrically straight. So when I'm laying on a side sleeper, I don't want this knee to go down. So I like to have a pillow there. So it keeps everything straight. And and the same with my arms too. I have found, sometimes I have a shoulder. Um, it just sort of aches every once in a while. I think from overuse. So I like to, you know, I don't want my arm to be down like this. I want it to be kind of straight so I have a pillow underneath it dishes oh my gosh <clears throat> you know in your home you're gonna have a whole bunch of dishes you really will so no you don't want to bring all your dishes no way but if you have some nice plastic dishes I say plastic it'll keep the weight down if you're gonna go glass or ceramic they're gonna be heavier I do have some heavy dishes um, sometimes if I cook and I do, I like to have pretty dishes if I'm going to serve somebody, but I'll tell you what, <clears throat> they're in my storage because I don't want to carry them right now. I have plastic. So look around for your dishes. Okay. This is glass, but this is like, this is very important to me. It's, it's a bigger Pyrex. <laughs> I love this. I love it. Um, plastic. I got actually if you don't have a lot of plastic and you want to have some nice stuff, you can go to Walmart. I think this was $1.50 at Walmart. Maybe two bucks. This is a nice one for salad or soup. I got this at Target. I mean, this is an, it's like a Frisbee. <laughs> I know, I should probably, yeah. Woo! Um, yeah, that was like 50 cents. Oh, I am carrying a heavy dish. Oh my gosh. It's got some dirt on it. Yeah, I know it's ceramic. 
And then this one I got at Walmart too, but I do like something a little different looking. Yeah. I don't cook that often. No. Silverware. I have more silverware, but it's in my storage because I never use it. I'll tell you, this is what I use. A parry knife. I keep two spoons and also keep a, a coffee spoon in there just for coffee. I just had to buy these today. At the hotel, I took in my fork just in case I couldn't find it. Oh my gosh. So I bought two forks and a can opener. That's it. I do like this. I did have this. It's one of those spatulas that you can really uh, pull everything out of um, the dish or the jar. And it's a good spreader too, like peanut butter, mayonnaise. Yeah, I love these. And I have one, one measuring. I don't want a whole set. This is a half cup. This is fine. If I need a third of a cup, I just only fill it to about there. Yeah. This is it. This is it. I do not want to carry around a bunch of dishes. I don't want the extra weight. I don't have the room for it. I could probably fit more in here. But then what would happen? If this was all full, I'd have to take things out just to get to things. To me, that's a waste of my time. And then, I don't know, a set of fork knife now. Yeah. It's not very weighty, so I, I keep it. Now, this is something. What is this? This is a coffee grinder. In case I get coffee beans. I can grind my own fresh coffee. Do you know what else I can use this for? Peppercorns. I have peppercorns in there. If I want fresh a pepper. Okay, so we got that. Dishes. Look around for nice, lightweight plastic dishes maybe something special but don't grab a whole bunch of stuff you really won't need it um okay i know you got these at home spray bottles i have two only two this is for water yeah let me let me cool down it's it's warm again today 88 degrees here in just a little bit well it's 88 inside my van i know <laughs> And then this is alcohol water. I keep alcohol water in here. I don't use the vinegar water anymore, white vinegar, although you can. I did for the first four or five years. But the last couple of years now, I use alcohol water. I feel like it just sterilizes that a little bit better. So you got spray bottles. I know you got those at home and you will need everything that I've just listed, which is rug, bedding, dishes and spray bottles okay you're gonna need those now <laughs> next comes tools you're gonna need a few tools here's my tools <laughs> I know I know somebody gave me this really it's really nice purse I think what is the brand it's a it's a brand name it's like Versace or something like that she gave it to me she was getting rid of stuff and I was like oh my gosh she gave me a few of them and I, I gave them to uh, my daughter. She was like, give me these. Now I will mention, I'm not a purse girl. No, I don't carry purses. I don't know why. I mean, I'm a girly girl, but I'm sort of a tough girly girl. Like for me, I carry like a tactical pack or something, or I do have my hippie pack, but a purse like this, I don't. But I thought this would be perfect for my tools when I was starting to get rid of stuff. Okay, so what's in here? Let's see. What's in here? I do have these. Um, yeah. Just in case it snows. There's a trowel in case you poop in the woods. You gotta uh, dig a hole. Got another one of these. This is, oh, I got, woo, I got three of these. Okay, these are nice if you want to put a tarp out and you want to hook it maybe to the railings of your minivan up above. Yeah, you got these. Yeah, let me let me get this out here so you can see just a little bit better. Okay, this is the one thing I do use. My son got this for me, and it's just magnetic, and it's got all of these in here. See, it's got all that I need in here, and I can just take it out and put it in there. 
and then you can turn it too to where okay yeah turn it to where you just or yeah which way you're going to take it out or you you're trying to screw it in okay i just had these i do i did have a lot of tools because i was in construction but when i left i gave everything to my son because he's um a carpenter and i i had some really nice tools but i gave them to him this is just a needle nose plier this is a wire cutter not sure why i have that um Oh yeah, I, get, I don't know, some 10 stakes, I guess. There we go, 10 stakes. I have a few more of these somewhere. Um, a box cutter. Oh, there we go. One of these, I forget the name of this. Oh my gosh. I forget the name of this. <laughs> oh, you can let me know below couple more of these I know this is kind of crazy stuff oh and oh I forgot I had this yeah this is my um foldable uh saw hand saw and I'll tell you what this is one of the good ones this is a good one um I used to watch a survival channel and he recommend this one okay that's oh wait a minute what's it oh this is for I'm pulling apart solar, the MC4s, but I never use it. Okay, so there we go. But, and the only one of these I've used in a long time is this one. So I'm going to leave that at the top. This one, yeah, I would definitely use this out boondocking. Don't need these two. These can go at the bottom. I've used this to crimp when I make those fire sticks. I burn the, the straw at the end, I get it hot, and then I crimp it. So I do use this one. Oh, I forget what the name of this is. Oh my gosh. This I use. I use this a lot. Yes. And I've got the whole set. But for my Kia, there's only really one that I've ever had to use. And I keep it in this special little pocket. It's number 10. <laughs> and this is for if I have to change. Um, I change my own light bulbs if the if the, the headlamp goes out. One time I had um, a uh, my brake light went out and in the back. And I had to change it. And I, what I did was I went on YouTube. And I just typed in Kia Sedona like 2014 or 20, 2006 when I had that one. Um, changing the the light and it, it will come up it'll go if somebody does a really good job at the YouTube it's step by step and that's how I learned to do it so there you go let me put the 10 in there that way I don't have to go searching through it with all those other ones and the number is so small on it that it's like oh yeah so I keep these handy there we go so that's it for my tools I don't use half of those because basically I mean if, you, if you're a mechanic of course you're going to have more tools but if you're just a gal who just like uh, checks her fluids and uh, changes her um, filters her cabin filter and her air filter um, every six months and I mean the mechanic's going to do all the other work so but these are handy to have just in case here's something that I had in my home, and I wished I would have kept it, is a Berkey water filter. They're expensive. An actual uh, original Berkey. Uh, yeah, I gave it away. I know, unbelievable, but yeah. 
Uh, but I had a Berkey. I'm, I was an organic girl and I filtered my water. I even had the fluoride um, uh, filters. You can actually get fluoride filters too. Although Arizona, Tucson doesn't really put fluoride in their water, but you know, just in case. So I wish I would have kept that. So you might want to think about that. I could have found, really could have found a place where I could have actually maybe put it here on top of just a little bit of a, a step stool on it and put it right here. That's probably what I would have done. And then bungee it in so it is, isn't going to shake. Okay, your pour over coffee system. You might have this at home. You might. Um, but they're not that expensive. I had many different kinds what I have now is this one. There's a filter under there. And I just love this. It's so little and compact. It puts on here so that when you make your coffee, it can sit there and you put your grain, grains, grounds in there and then pour the water over it. Yeah. And then it's got this, you can lift it up if it gets hot. Nice. You know, that's something you might have at home right? Towels. I use towels. I really do. And if you're in a minivan, you're going to want to bring some of your towels. Don't go out and buy new ones. Um, but yeah, I use towels to put down. Let's say, let's say you're going to cook or something like that. Even if you don't want the towels down all the time, like I do, you have a towel handy that you can put down. That way you're not going to hurt your carpet. I do it to protect my carpet and the, and the blankets underneath. I literally have four blankets. I have my carpet, then I have four blankets, and then I have towels on top. So this is actually pretty padded. I mean, it's not spongy or anything like a mattress, but it is a very comfortable, yeah. Let me get a sip of my coffee here. <clears throat> okay, another thing that you're gonna have probably in your home are some bins a bin system so you can you don't have to rush out and go buy some bins and then also your plastic drawers you might have this maybe back in your storage room or something like that you have some of um, these um drawers my drawers let me just give you a clue i have changed my drawers twice um once when i was in reno i got all new ones but oh i'm so ready because what happens is the plastic, it kind of settles in. Like this one, for some reason, doesn't even, it's just, they're getting worn down. This one wants to come up. I mean, yeah, they're kind of, you know, they're plastic. So I am so ready for new ones. But if you have some already, there you go. I'm sure you're gonna find other things that you already have, but this will give you a clue of what to start looking for. And if you do need more listing, I wrote a book, How to Live in a Minivan, The Minivan Leeway, how to do, how to convert your minivan. And, but it's called How to Live in a Minivan, The Minivan Leeway. And it's on Amazon. So just go on Amazon. You can get the ebook or you can get the paperback. And it's got list upon list upon list, okay? Now I wanna go over a list of things that you probably, probably will have to purchase that are kind of necessary for the nomad world, okay? One is your uh, butane stove. I, I think it, get, um, I think it's called One Dual or Dual One, and this can use actually propane, although I never use it, but this uses butane. I keep a canister here, and I do keep extra canisters. Um, I got some in my storage, and I got a couple in, in my bin over here just in case, because it can be hard to find sometimes. Okay, now this, you might already have this, but I think this is definitely necessary. It's a tire inflator. And this works fabulous, fabulous. But you do need to have power. I remember my friend Jack, he didn't have a power bank like I do. And he was putting it in a cigarette lighter and turn it on his car, it did not give enough power. It just didn't. So I use, this is I for the, for the um, 110, and I put it inside of my, um, my power bank, and I just take it around to each tire. Very, very, very necessary. What else? 
I say yes. This is a yes. It's a code reader. It's a car scan code reader. When you're out and about and you get that check engine light on, that's your home. And you're probably going to be traveling. You want to know what the heck is going on. That way you can call your mechanic and give them the code and they can let you know what, what could possibly be going on. So I say get yourself one of these. Mine, I bought this at O'Reilly and it was like $100. This, I can leave the link. Well, no, they don't even sell this one anymore, but there are very similar ones. Um, Backlight doesn't, I think they sold their company to somebody else. What else? A jump starter, and I don't have one. <laughs> I don't. Mine went bad, and then I had my travel partner, and he bought one, so we were kind of like, thought, well, we'll use it together, but um, yeah, I need to uh, buy another one. What else? Oh, and of course, if you're going to do a build-out, you're going to have, um, you need all the supplies for that. Me, I don't have a build-out. I like it just this way. I like to just sit on the floor. I do, I, I love it. I mean, this is so comfortable for me. I like to be spread out. And when I sleep, I sleep on my on top of my sleeping bag. It's very comfy cozy. It's probably harder than most people are used to, but uh, for me, it works perfect. I, I don't mind a hard, harder surface. I think it's a little bit more, um, I think it's a little better for you, you know? Well, this will give you some things to think about. And there's so much more. I do, oh, as far as tools go, I do have a hammer, and it's over there. Um, I keep it close uh, to, you know, my, my, my driver's side. I'm sure there's a whole bunch more, but this is a good start for you to start. I want you to start looking around. Now, you're going to think, oh, I could use this in my van, and oh, I could use this. What I want you to do is get a dedicated area inside your home, Okay maybe an extra bedroom or something, and just have this place off to the side where you start putting things in there that you know that you're probably gonna use inside your van. But here's what's gonna happen, everybody. Just give you a clue. There's gonna be so much stuff in there, and when, by the time you're done, and you're gonna think, how am I ever gonna fit this inside of my van? There's no way. Uh, you're probably right. <laughs> Usually when people get started, they bring way too much stuff. So you, you're gonna have to, you, I want you to think simple, minimal, scale it down. You really think you might need these things, but you really won't. If you really can't make a decision, you're going to have to get yourself a storage and just rent a storage and then go travel for a while. And then once you get started full time, just go travel. And then you know you've got these things and you can always come back and pick up things. Or you can say, I'm never going to use these. Get rid of them sell them or pitch them, give them away and get rid of that storage. So, okay. Till next time, everybody got the book, how to live in a minivan, the minivan leeway. And it's on Amazon. And I believe, um, in my humble opinion, that it is the best. It's the best because there's so many lists and it gets you from A to Z and, or is it A to Z? <laughs> I know. Cause I'm, um, and, uh, and beyond and beyond. Yes. Um, okay. So till tomorrow, everybody start with what you already have. Start with what you have. You got it. You got it till tomorrow. Bye.